This is perhaps one of the most significant developments we've ever seen in the post-recession environment. You know, we're living in times where inflation has been stubbornly low, and consequently, companies can't raise prices and pay their people more. Now, at the same time, we are in a massive labor shortage. And so here comes Amazon, the second largest employer in the country, raising wages to $15 an hour. That's 30, 40, 50% higher than the minimum wage in some states. Now, if you aren't concerned about this, you are living on a completely different planet. Amazon is coming for your workers. At the very least, the competitive pressure that this puts on all employers of hourly workers is enormous. You see, Amazon's very unique. They can afford to pay their people more because their company is the only company in the world that employs that many people, but yet is still valued on growth. Most employers can't get away with not making profits, but Amazon can. The way I see it, companies have two choices. One, capitulate, give up, raise wages, eat into margins, cut costs elsewhere. Two, innovate. Through the millions of payments that Daily Pay has made, the hundreds of thousands of lives we have touched, one thing is very clear. Employees would rather be paid daily than frankly be paid more. I know it sounds crazy, but our data shows that employees are even willing to take 13% less if they were to have a daily pay option. This move by Amazon is real. It's serious. But offering daily pay is one way that best-in-class companies can continue to compete. 